Hello, this is Holly, and I want to show you this website. I have typed the link in our post so you can find it easily. But this site, Easy Reading for ESL Beginners, is a useful reference. There are 200 stories here. Lots and lots of English practice. The stories are short. I'm going to show you this story, number 119, A Stranger in the Neighborhood. When you click on that link, you'll see this short story. At the top of the page, you'll see the number and the title again, and you'll see a recorder. You can click to play and listen to the story. As you're reading the story, if you see a word you don't know and you want a photo, you can type the word here and search Google Images for a picture After you read the story, there are lots of activities you might do. You can click on vocabulary. If you click on any of these words, it will take you to a dictionary page. So you can check to see if you know all of these words. When you're finished, click close and you'll come back to this page Try the next one, C-L-O-Z-E, close, is the name for this type of exercise where words are missing. So here they want you to type the missing word. She looked at the man. He was walking mm, the sidewalk. Do you remember the story? Can you guess? What word might go there? Type your guess. He was walking on the sidewalk, down the sidewalk, up the sidewalk, next to the sidewalk. What did the sentence say? Type your best guess. Let's say up the sidewalk. Where after you type, you can check. No, it's not correct. So if I'm not sure, I can ask for a hint. They gave me one letter. Oh, so maybe it's on the sidewalk. She did not know this man. Hmm, was a stranger. Hmm, was a stranger. He was a stranger. So you continue to fill in the blanks, check your answers, ask for a hint if you need one, and then close. Crossword puzzle, the same thing. Sentences. Here they give you words to a scrambled sentence and you have to put the sentence in the correct order. Notice they give you the punctuation of a question mark. So think how you would start a question. So you can practice with those. And then the last option is a dictation. You can click to listen and type the word that you hear. And again, when you're finished, click close to go back to the story. This is an excellent website for self-study. And then after you read this story and learn these words, you can come back to loop to our beginners group 
here to our beginners group and you can add a post easy short stories the man you might type a new story and you might type sentences of your own telling a similar story practice 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 the more you practice the faster your English will improve. Happy studying!